Ever wondered what crossing the midline is all about? The midline is an imaginary line drawn from the head to the feet that separates the left and right sides of the body. Crossing this midline means that a body part, a hand or a foot, is able to spontaneously move over to the other side of the body while participating in activities. Before this ability is well established, you may have noticed that your young child tends to use the left hand on the left side of the body and the right hand on the right side. The ability to cross over the midline is important on both a physical and a brain level. On a brain level, a lack of midline crossing may indicate that the left and right hemispheres are not communicating well. Because each side of the brain carries out different tasks, it's important for them to communicate in order to coordinate learning and movement. On a physical level, crossing the midline helps to establish hand dominance and develop fine motor skills. Babies and toddlers may use both hands equally initially while picking up or interacting with an object with whichever hand is closest. However, by three to four years of age, a child should typically have mastered the skill of spontaneously crossing over the midline. The development of midline crossing and bilateral coordination, the use of two sides of the body together, is closely interlinked. The two hands first learn to work well together, and as the skill of midline crossing develops, the child starts to use one hand for a skilled movement, while the other hand carries out a supportive role. Establishing hand dominance, that is a working hand versus a helper hand, is an indicator that the brain is maturing and developing a preference for use of either the right or the left hand. This strongly correlates with the ability to cross the midline. When a child spontaneously crosses the midline with the dominant hand, this hand is provided ample opportunity to manipulate objects and develop skilled movements resulting in well-developed fine motor skills. However, when crossing the midline is avoided, children tend to alternate hand cues during tasks such as colouring, writing, eating and throwing. This divides the amount of time each side spends practising skills and often delays the establishment of hand dominance and fine motor development. Some children with a delayed midline crossing skills may have established a dominant hand but display some compensatory mechanisms during tabletop activities that influence their writing skills. They might turn the paper and reposition the paper to avoid working across the midline or shift their body all the way to one side so that the dominant hand does not have to reach over to the other side. When working on midline crossing, start with activities that require the whole body to cross over the imaginary midline. This can include activities where the child needs to rotate to the upper half of their body while keeping their hips stable. When doing fine motor activities, position the materials in such a way that the child has to cross over the midline to reach the objects required. Please remember that these are just activity ideas to promote the normal development of midline crossing. If you have concerns about your child's development, it should be discussed with a professional.